Welcome back guys back, my name is Zanky from the Slots and today we talk about some BT15 decks. First, Yellow Vaccine, a deck that you can use to evolve from your security and hand having multiple targets and get higher up with higher end stacks and be really annoying to your opponent. Do you want to play this? Then it's right your deck. But first, right, left, help out the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe because on my well to 160 1650 subscribers, yes, 6 are missing, just comment what is your favorite deck from the BT50 meta, like and subscribe, or what you play and maybe you think the shoot suited as a deck profile, sponsoring our magic mats, we can win a mat, or be a Yu-Gi-Oh shop, a display, so the new BT15, really cool, thank you very much, and don't forget to check out the membership, it will be special exclusive content and videos for you guys, and you can choose what videos or what deck profiles I should make. Thank you guys for the support and let's go into this nice video. Okay guys, we're right now at the deck profile. Uh, don't forget for the giveaway, I have a second prize as well for you. Don't to be worry, some stuff. I have for you, but we're playing four of the Kuramon. Why we want jamming? Jamming is pretty important because there's some high threats um, in the opponent's security, and sometimes we run into it. That's pretty annoying. Later on, you can play Tokumon if you want to. This is the other card for draw power 5x. Kuramon, why are we playing it? Why are we playing not the Zalamon? Example because this one search as Tamer and Digimon. What is pretty important? What the Patam what the Salamon cannot do. We need our Tamer for the specific combo. And if there are six or fewer total cards in both player security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus two thousand for the turn. Pretty broken. Then we're playing four of the Patamon, main thing, gets us memory when with something added, pretty good. Then we're playing two of the cube the opponent can't reduce the evolution cost. It's pretty okay, not quite that uh, we want to, but uh, there's the two of, and what we want to is players can play Digimon by uh, effects because uh, Bloom Lord Morn and Anubismon and Leviamon are on the way, and we need some protection, so this is the wider fourth. Geogramon, I don't need to say why we play this card, it's pretty broken not as well. This is one of two of the Angemon pretty okay level 4 we just get rid of that later on if we get the new rubble mom but we certainly cannot play this but it's okay to have that as well then we play in the 4 off card to mon uh, when in effect trash this card from a security stack you might play this card be wary if you play with leviamon which is the option card and leviamon x in the grave then your opponent can react to that but in the early game it's pretty good it itself has barrier and also when it comes to removal from the security stack, you gain one memory as well and it's inherited barrier. We need that versus purple and other stuff destroying our Digimon. We can prevent the deletion by trashing the top card and then gaining our bonus effects from it. Then we play two Rapidmon to get a little bit of um, armor protection and you can suspend something, can run over it and make minus 5000. Then you can do or delete some else because there are a lot of Memory stuff, reduce stuff on the board, some rookies, Gazimon, stuff like that you can get rid of. And maybe the 5 stack, if they are letting it open, uh, the werewolf level 5, they can spawn out another one, then just this is your answer. We're playing 3 of the Magnamon Ace as well as 3 of the Hundred Woman Ace. These cards are always good. Uh, Magnamon recovers us if he has 5 or less cards. I'm really sorry. Here we go. And making minus 1000 DP for every card we have. Yes, you gave the opponent overflow. But it's pretty insane. If you play out something, have your level 5 on board or level 6 and have a Gatomon on your opponent's swing, you need to be aware that you can ace. And the Gatomon uh, and the other woman says by touching the top or bottom card of your security stack, one of your opponents gets minus 6000 to the turn. And when the card is removed from your security stack, if you have three or four security cards, you recover one. It's okay as well. You're playing two of the rest of the Yes, you see here the 51. But there's we come later. You can cut one more frame on if you want to. But right now, two off if you want to play it. You can play it as one of them. You're at 50. But I give you the choice which you can cut later and whatnot, as you always know in my videos. This one plays you out the tamer. Uh, on place effect for the tamer, don't activate. So you have only five targets. That's the reason why I will play it as a one off. So, in my opinion, the necklace should be like this. But you can play it as a two off, like I mentioned. Windowsmon is really annoying for your opponent. Your opponent don't want to have this on board. 
The problem is on play effects doesn't require this effect, so Leviamon is as well a threat. But we're having a little bit of aggression in our deck. We can recover re one with, with the Seraphimon. And um, when a card is added to your security stack, one of your party Digimon gets minus 10,000. And Digimon gets plus one security for the turn. It's pretty good. It's insane. Play it. One of the one off cards you can play as well if you want to play the Raphimon as a one off and Metamon as a two off, you can play as well. Because Metamon is pretty annoying as well. When you're evolving and when you're taking one's return, attach the top card of your security stack. You might play one little bit lower, lower card from your hand without playing as Mericos. What is pretty okay. And Digimon play, but it's a big game rush, so we have some targets. And all turns Digimon yellow gain barrier. And a lot of your opponents turn Digimon with level greater than or equal to the total cards in both security gets minus two security. Is that an hell an annoying effect? But you got some effects to get rid of this and if you don't have any security left then you can't provide that with barrier so keep that in mind. Then we got two Devixmon for all the spam decks Anubis, Leviamon. Okay Leviamon just have Leviamon another stack and maybe a um, lower one <coughs> but uh, maybe if they're playing Matt Ishida as a tamer as well, and you have four targets, then it's worthy to play the FXmon. And it's a high top end, your room more, but you're having a deck recover one. Having more opportunities to search something out, minus 5,000 on the board. And uh, with the training, it only costs free to evolve. It's pretty insane, minus 10 on the board. It's pretty good. Emissary of Hope, don't need to explain, this card is pretty pro in the deck. Skip an evolution, it's really good. Then, <coughs> we got Revolution of Light. When an effect stretch this card from your security, activate the security cards main effect. Main search is deck, you might play one level four low yellow card among them without playing the cost, then shuffle your security stack if you have a tamer with Kari Kami in its name, place this card at the top of your security stack. And this card makes a little rune mode effect 5000 minus the board with your ace having a four off or so you play Gatumon as example, then you can ace again into a Magna Angemon having four life going into five and then minus 10 on the opponent is pretty insane. For physical training, simple as it is, 2TK, search our security for some stacks. If you want to play it as a 3 off, you can play it if you have a memory tamer, but you played older version 3TK, so now you're playing um, the new TK. No, this is the newer TK, this is the old TK, I mean the new Kari. You play her, um, she's a memory tamer as well as the old TK. This was I mentioned to you guys. And what's this pretty good about here? When an effect stretch this card from your security stack, one of your opponents Digimon gains minus one until the end of your opponent's turn. If you want to trash her and play more from her, and all turns, and the effect removes the card from your security stack by suspending this tamer, one of your opponents Digimon gains minus one attack until the end of your opponent's turn. With Metamon, they are minus three on the opponent's turn, so Leviamon can swing. Well, makes her pretty good, but they don't be using her too much. But this is okay to have her with the one off. I think it's okay when not the one off is as well. Okay, you don't recover this card, but you play all the focus that you can always again do your stuff with the aces. It's pretty okay versus some opponents. This was the whole vaccine deck list with some niches you can play and whatnot and what to cut. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you as always. Stay healthy and we see us on the next video with Leviamon X. Let's go. And at the end, shout out to memberships for champion highest rank. Eddie F. Wolf, thank you very much for supporting the channel. And always stay super.